All right, so we're here with Kendall Styles from uh, Hands On in Millageville, and so I'm being I'm new to the community, so sure. I'm learning every week. You know, when we do these on a monthly basis, when we when we help uh, charitable donations, you know what these charities stand for. So t tell us, um, I know you guys are with Georgia College. I mean, tell us a little bit about what you guys stand for. Some of the things you've done in the past, and, and some of the things that really makes you proud about okay. being involved with. Well, and uh, Hands On Millageville is kind of an interesting entity in itself. We actually I run the volunteer center at the college, which is the Give Center. And then we had this opportunity to get some grants from the governor's office and Department of Community Affairs, and that's kind of how we developed uh, Hands On Milledgeville. And so we have really utilized our resources at Georgia College as far as being located there and also some of our student staff and that kind of thing. Right. But what we what we would love to do one day is be like the volunteer center for Baldwin County, but we are not really there you know, at that point right now. And so what we decided to do was actually just really work directly with nonprofits and state agencies and to help and network, and so because especially Especially now with the economy the way it is, right. everybody needs to lean on each other and take advantage of those resources. And with a small community, most of the nonprofits and state agencies are a one-person show, and so they're overworked, underappreciated, uh, you know, all that less money and that kind of thing. So now is the time to really work with them. And so we also do some service projects. We will go in like we just did the potato drop, and we fed about 130,000 people with that event. We did stuff the truck and collected about 10,000 canned goods for our local food pantries. Okay. We'll be doing things with the Martin Luther King Day. We've got about 10 projects coming out. So very excited about so that. So how many guys. folks are like, this is this is at the college, right? Well, so. it's located at the college, but uh, what we do is we go out and we have monthly meetings and things like that. Well, that who, who's work. involved with it? If it's at the college, is it college kids that are involved? Um, or is it well, the college, a lot of the college students are involved as far as the volunteer part, but then we have the nonprofits like the Life Enrichment Center, Oconee Prevention Resource Council, the Red Cross has been involved, United Way has been involved, wow. communities and schools. And so again, we just meet monthly and talk about their needs and then we go out to see but so so you don't have any one particular thing you guys shoot for you guys basically are your your extended hands for any anybody in, in mm -hmm. need anything that you feel convicted about that you want that you, you just well and with. really with more of it we do that but we really work more through the nonprofits and so we don't really go out and we don't have money to help people in need or different things and so what we do is we work just directly with the nonprofits that and we help support their programs and so we do not have any any certain agencies we work with but any of them kind of like an umbrella type sure. agency is what we're trying to look at awesome yeah. all right yeah. all right well that's hands-on millageville uh, and it's uh, Kendall Styles, and she's uh, she's the director there. So if you want to get in contact with her, what number would they call? It they would be four seven eight four four five five seven zero zero. Okay, and you can always just uh, uh, click on our, our community uh, link on the website and, and come directly to Louis here in Toyota, and we'll we'll send you to them. And, and again, we're we're uh, proud to be associated uh, with Hands On, and, and thank you for stopping by, Miss Sharon. Thank you so much. No, you're welcome. Thank you.